Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, I am making this sweet potato cinnamon rolls. Oh my goodness, they're so good. Hopefully you enjoy it, but before I begin, be sure to like or subscribe if you know, and let's get started. To begin, we're going to boil our sweet potatoes. Now you can use the canned one. I really wish I used the canned one because this took me a while and I didn't like that. Okay, so I boil them once they're nice and tender, which is about 30 minutes later. You are going to allow them to, you know, cool down and then you are going to remove the skin just like so. And then I am going to grab my hand mixer and just mix everything together. As I was mixing, it was a little too dry to dilute it. The sweet potato, I added some milk in there, so. Once I was done, I went ahead and strained my sweet potatoes. I wish I didn't add any milk to it because it does uh, change the color a little bit, but yeah. If you use the actual canned sweet potatoes, I think the color will be more richer, okay? So in a bowl, I am going to add some warm milk, melted butter, sugar we're going to whisk that for about 60 seconds because you do want the milk to be nice and sweet for the yeast to uh, react okay so now i am going to add the yeast just like so give it a stir for about i'll say two minutes okay once you are done you are going to be adding in um what are we adding in we're going to add the sweet potato puree Now I am going to be adding my flour. I went ahead and sift my flour first. I added the baking soda as well as some salt. Don't ask me why I, I'm sifting the salt, but we're going to add the salt in there as well. And then you are going to sift it and mix it together. Once the dough is nice and form, I am going to transfer this to a bigger bowl. As I'm transferring it to the other bowl, I am going to make sure to add some oil to the bowl because you don't want the dough to st stick on there. So the oil will help you remove the dough easier. So I'm going to um, add the oil. Then I am going to be adding the dough and cover it with a serene wrap. Allow it to proof for about one hour. Okay, we're going to let it sit somewhere dark, somewhere kind of warm. Usually I preheat my oven, then turn it off. Keep that in mind, turn it off and then place it in there. Just let it sit there for about an hour. It just makes the process even faster. Okay, after one hour, you should have your dough nice and triple the size you started with. To my clean counter, I went ahead and sprinkled some flour, then placed the dough on there. It's going to be a little softer, so you might have to add a little bit more flour to it and just form your dough. Then I am going to grab my rolling pin and just flatten the dough out. And this recipe should give you about two regular um, nine by 13 <laughs> baking dish. like. It's, if you don't want to make that much, you might have to cut the recipe in half, okay? Everything that I use, just cut it in half.
Now I'm going to spread some butter all over the dough. Make sure your butter is room temperature, nice and soft, okay? So as you're baking this, just put your butter out. I am using about three sticks of butter, unsalted by the way. Next, I am going to grab my dark brown sugar, sprinkle a lot of cinnamon on there, mix it up together. Then we're going to sprinkle all of that cinnamon on top of the butter. Now I am going to cut the ends and then start rolling my cinnamon rolls, okay? As you can see, I am rolling and tucking and rolling and tucking under. And I have something like this once I'm done uh, rolling it. I am using a cooking twine to cut my cinnamon rolls. However, you can use a knife or a pizza cutter, but the cooking twine works so good, okay? So I'm going to eyeballing the size, so it's good to kind of like have the same size, obviously. Then we're going to place them to a baking tray. Make sure to butter your baking tray because you don't want to um, let the cinnamon just stick on there and you can't get it out, so make sure to butter it. I don't think I show you guys that part, so please do so. So now as I'm placing them in the baking dish, as you can see, I spaced them out. Now I'm going to cover it with the saran wrap and just allow it to proof one more time before cooking. Now I'm going to bake it now on 350 for 30 minutes. As it's baking, I'm making the icing. For the icing, you will need melted cream cheese, you will need powdered sugar, a little bit of milk, and some pure vanilla extract. Mix that together with a fork or a hand mixer like I'm using. And once you're done mixing everything together, you should have something like this nice and creamy as you can see this is my cinnamon rolls they're nice and golden it smells amazing in my kitchen i am just going to spread that icing all over i like to make the icing thick because it just looks so good on there okay and once we're done guys this is your final result This recipe was very, very, very delicious. It came out so good. But one thing I will say, 
if I have to make this again, I'm definitely using canned sweet potatoes. But besides that, it tastes good, it smells good, it's fluffy, it's sweet, it's ooey gooey that you do want to try this out. I am going to a potluck for Christmas, so guess what I'm bringing? Yep, you guessed it, some cinnamon rolls. Thank you for watching guys. Be sure to like if you enjoy, if it was helpful. Subscribe if you're new here. I will see you on the next recipe. Bye guys.